The latest update, KD Plasma 6.3.1, is here. Now, I know software updates can sometimes sound boring, but trust me, this one comes packed with bug fixes and improvements that actually make a difference. So, let's break it down. First things first, what exactly is KDE Plasma? Well, KDE Plasma is one of the most popular desktop environments for Linux. It's what makes your Linux computer look and feel the way it does. Plasma 6.3 was recently released and this new update 6.3.1 is a maintenance release. That means no big, flashy new features but a lot of bug fixes and small improvements that make everything run smoother and better. Think of it like a tune-up for your car. It's not a new engine but it keeps everything running the way it should. Let's start with one of the biggest improvements, Plasma Discover. If you're new to KDE, Discover is the built-in app store that lets you find, install and update software on your system. With this update, Discover now sorts updates in a case-insensitive way. What does that mean? Well, before this fix, apps with capital letters in their names may have been sorted weirdly. Now, they'll be in the correct order no matter how they're spelled. A small but nice quality of life improvement. Another thing they fixed is a crash that could happen when you open a dot .flatpak rave file. Flatpaks are a way to install software on Linux and sometimes opening one of these files in Discover could make it crash. That's been fixed now. Also, if you tried loading app reviews without an internet connection, Discover could crash. This update makes sure that doesn't happen anymore. So, overall, Discover is now more stable. Next up, let's talk about the weather. The Plasma Weather widget got some love in this update. If you were using the BBC weather provider, you may have noticed that search results weren't working properly. That's now fixed. Plus, a new weather provider called DWD is now showing search results better than before. So, if you rely on your desktop to check the weather, this is a great improvement. You know that little trash can on your desktop? Turns out it wasn't always updating correctly to show whether it was full or empty. Imagine deleting a bunch of files but still seeing an empty trash icon. It's a small thing but it can be confusing. This update makes sure the trash icon updates correctly, so you always know when it's time to empty it. Now, let's talk about something important. Fixes for KWIN, the window manager that controls how your apps open and move around. There was a really annoying bug that could make KWIN crash if you plugged in or switched HDMI screens while using X11. That's been fixed, which is great for anyone still using X11. However, KDE devs are also reminding people that they aren't testing X11 as much anymore. Instead, they're focusing on Wayland, the newer and more modern display server. So, if you're still on X11 and keep running into problems, now may be a good time to try Wayland again. Speaking of crashes, this update also fixes two rare crashes in the screen sharing dialog, a problem where KWIN could crash hours after plugging in a Thunderbolt dock, and an issue where Qt based apps could crash when using the Breeze style. Basically, if you've had weird crashes happening in KDE, this update may just solve them. Now, this next bug was weird. Have you ever copied text and then looked at your clipboard history only to see some of the entries overlapping? It looked messy and made it hard to find what you copied. Well, that's been fixed now. Another fix involves the Alt-Tab task switcher. If you're using software rendering and pressed Alt-Tab to switch apps, KWIN could crash. That's now fixed, so you don't have to worry about breaking your session just by switching apps. Some nice little visual improvements also made their way into this update. The bar that separates the date and time in the digital clock widget now looks better. Also, if you were using an on-square image as your kickoff menu button, it didn't always look right before, but now it should display correctly. These are small details, but they make the overall experience feel more polished. For those of you using KDE on a laptop, you'll be happy to know that the energy page in the info center got some fixes too. There was a strange issue where the layout could break it if you had a larger than default font size or a lot of devices with batteries. That's been fixed. Also, if you adjusted keyboard brightness, sometimes the brightness control weren't visible immediately. That's now solved as well. And one last cool fix. If you use auto-hide panels, you may have noticed that when you started dragging tasks around in the task manager, the panel could suddenly hide itself again. That's not how it's supposed to work. Now, the panel will stay open while you're reordering tasks, making things much smoother. So, that's KDE Plasma 6.3.1. 
is not a flashy update but it fixes a ton of little things that make KDE more stable and enjoyable to use. From discover improvements to crash fixes and new white tweaks, this update polishes KDE Plasma even further. If you're using KDE Plasma, let me know in the comments have you noticed any of these fixes? Are you still using X11 or have you switched to Wayland? Let's talk about it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future Linux content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.